All right, this will be my fourth time doing this video tonight. Uh, keep having issues with uh, every time I try to explain the Java portion, uh, it crashes my screen capture software or or just makes it freeze frame and then it doesn't do anything else and it just, just ends up being uh, 10, 15 minutes of me chit-chatting with a frozen screen. So that's gonna be useful to no one ever. Um, but, all right. So this is going to be a walkthrough on how to set up build box and not really setting a build box, more of how to set up your environment to take a build box uh, output from the BB doc into to go file export Android. So file export and then into Android. And I'll do that real quick. Eh, we'll do that in a minute, but then to use that to build an APK file. So real quick, the what I have here. You got a start menu, company logo, go into main menu. All I have is a tap to start, which starts the game. Then I go into game field, which has two, two control buttons here. Uh, this one just tells the character jump. And this one is a joystick control. The top one, the jump, uh, I took block touch off so that block touch, so the touch will go through into the uh, bottom layer and so basically every time the what this effectively does it says every time the u user wants to move the ball they have to, they have to do a jump too on to the next one it is game screen over so when you die this is a, it's just a restart button to take you back to the beginning that's it uh, nothing else in here on the top or the bottom just straight through die come back the only other thing to talk about is settings and in settings you need to make sure that you give it a com dot your company name com dot the game name and that's kind of the industry standard so try to stick to that you can keep your game versioning up over here to keep that accurate um, and then you, you should already know what all this other stuff is i did put an icon on here the gameplay not so important but uh, there it is and then advertisements i have nothing set up in there but i could easily go in there and throw throw stuff in there but i'm not going to um, and that's really it for that the gameplay is uh, ridiculously silly. It's an upside down jump game. Um, I can play it real quick for you over here. But uh, basically, so every time I touch, the user has to jump. They can click, click, click a bunch of times. Um, that's it. It's just strictly for demo. So there it is. I will stop that. Uh, but I want to see how it plays on a actual device. So how do we get there? That's going to be setting up your uh, environment. And the first thing you need to do is go download these two files. The first one being Java uh, 7 update 79, and that's this file here. I got the Windows executable version of that, and I'm not even gonna pull up the website this time. I'm not gonna pull up this website because I, it keeps crashing the dang video. So I'm not gonna do that again, but um, you can also just Google, uh, you know, verify Java version or, or, or something to that effect, and you can, you'll get the Java page that'll tell you what version you have. If you have a later version, um, can't guarantee that it'll work, but it might work with a later version. Uh, I wouldn't use an earlier version for sure. I'll just go ahead and upgrade to this one and, and you'll be good to go. I know for sure it works with this version of the JDK, so uh, that's the one. If you're not using that, don't even comment that I can't get it, that you can't get it to work because this is the one you need. Let's see, Android developer tools. So that's gonna come in this bundle here. You're gonna get, uh, close that. You're gonna get SDK, the Eclipse and SDK Manager. What that's going to do is when you unpack it, it's going to put it. You, I put all mine in C Android. You can put yours wherever you want, but basically, I extracted all of these three into right here: Eclipse, SDK, and SDK Manager. Um, and then you can close your extraction tool, whichever one you used. Come into here, uh, Eclipse. It's not like a normal program where you install it, at least not for Windows. Um, it's basically just an executable that you go with and it knows where all these other files and folders are within the within the directory tree uh, Let's see workspace 2 can't be used. It's fine. We'll just go with number three now um, I keep deleting and and doing all kinds of crazy stuff trying to get this video done. So uh, I expect it to not be able to find some stuff Let's see. Oh, and I'm <laughs> probably because I already had number two open That's probably why number two was open because number three wasn't let me let me close all these again, make sure I got them all closed. In fact, I still had number one open. All right, close that, okay, okay. And then we will start clean now. All right, double click. This is the only one I have open. And 
and there it is. Looks like, uh, I don't know which workspace it took, but that's irrelevant because uh, I'm setting it up new. First thing you want to do, Eclipse. This is Eclipse. It's running. It's Juno. Uh, this is the basically Eclipse here. It loaded up all its load files. It's good to go. You have Eclipse. Next, you want that SDK. So we'll go Window, Preferences. First thing you need to make sure, and this is probably critical why most people fail, and I can't stress it enough, this is where 99.999% of my problems were coming from, is I did not have the right SDK location. And from previous attempts to use Android for making other stuff, it was all screwed up, had stuff in all kinds of different places. But once I changed it to the one that I just downloaded from here, so from this ADT link, this, this bundle, I got this, as I just mentioned, and these, these are the files that this is referencing here. So then when I cancel, I'll cancel out of that. And when you load up the SDK manager, it's right now loading all the files in here to see what's going on. And it's going to pull up a list of everything installed. And I'll give this a second to load. Close this. It keeps trying to give me that. I don't want it. API 23. So what comes with it when it first starts it looks kind of like this uh, exactly like this you have a, uh, sdk tools revision 23 platform tools 20 and sdk build tools 20. don't change those don't get anything else just leave them as is and you'll be fine it also gives you 4.4 w sdk platform leave that for api 20 you'll be fine down here uh, the only thing it gives you is right here uh, Android support library number 20. You can leave that, it's fine. If you got anything else in there, which I don't know how you can, if you downloaded this and you linked your, you went into those preferences and changed it to C Android SDK or wherever you saved it to, this is all you should be getting. If you have any other stuff in here right now, if you, you something's not right and you need to step back and take a look. So then what you need to do though, is come in and you do need to go ahead and download this one, SDK platform under API 21. Google APIs and sources for Android SDK. Google APIs may not necessarily be needed, but I did it anyway and it didn't hurt anything. So those are the only three I added on top of the, on top of the ones that came with this bundle. Enough said. All right, once that's done, uh, I recommend turning off the Lint because you're gonna get uh, the Lint uh, notices because you're gonna, you're gonna start getting notices if you don't. So Lint error checking, ignore all, apply, say yes. And say okay and then that'll suppress a bunch of errors that you would otherwise get down the road so don't forget that i mean if you forget now you can you can still do that later it's not going to hurt anything all right now we need to open the files that we just exported from buildbox so we'll say import we'll say an android project an existing android in, uh, into this project we'll say browse we'll go to this pc i put them on the c drive i put them under android Build export upside down bounce. Okay, and it's going to pull in. The, it's going to go through that directory structure and look for the Android projects. Did I do something wrong there? That should have been it. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually export yet. From that was the file. The structure you're looking at there was from an old one. So file. I don't know if you saw that. You should have seen that. File export Android. We'll go to that C drive again. Uh, C, Android, build export, upside down bounce. We'll go ahead and take that again. Enter. All right, go back up. We'll go ahead and delete this. Just I don't know, that's remnants of the last one I was trying to do. So we'll delete that. So now we're just in Android build export. There's nothing else in there. Save. And it should be built in there now. Now let's go ahead and try to pull this in. Browse, upside down bounce, say okay. And there, that time it pulled them in just fine. Uh, so don't forget to export from BuildBox into an Android project. So basically just pulled these projects in from those locations. Let's see if I can pull this back up real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. C, Android, build export, upside down Android. Right here is your projects that it just pulled in these Android uh, projects. It's basically making up these files. Now we'll click finish. This is where you might start getting some errors. Um, in fact, we're probably going to get two. We should see two errors on here. Um, I can't get out of this, but 
just let it run through an exclamation mark at the beginning is okay but you should end up with just a little yellow caution mark on there so we'll see make sure that turns into that um, but you can see basically it's building everything out right now it's building the workspace it's importing the project and updating everything and then as long as at the end you end up with just the 32 warnings or i think they're cautions cautions warnings i'm not sure uh, then you'll be fine there turn from red to yellow and over here we got the warning 32 items perfect that means we're good um, every time i've done this that's what i get 32 warnings i don't even look at what they are anymore because i know they don't matter all right from there the only other thing we need to do is get to uh, exporting the file so let me double check in here make sure there's nothing i forgot you could do a virtual device manager at this point um i don't bother I just I don't have them, I don't even know if I have them set up right now, but I don't want to mess with that. Uh, at this point, all I need to do is go right-click on it, Android Tools, Export Signed Application Package. Take the take what it pulls in from this this test name here. Click Next. Creating a new key store. Unless of course you've already got one, you can use the old one. Uh, but for here, you want to pick a location, and I've just been using. Android build export upside down, create a new folder, call it key store, enter, and we'll call it uh, keys, enter, password will be password, password, enter, alias, call it test one, demo, just whatever you want for alias, password will be password again, I keep them all the same, password. Validity, I've seen 25 and I've seen 30 years, doesn't really matter. Now you can't do anything right now, you still have to put just one character in any one of these boxes. And, oh, my passwords don't match. But then it would give me the next symbol. Password and password. And then I got the one letter in here, so it gives me the next. Click next, destination APK. We will build another folder called APKs. And this is where if you had uh, iterative builds, like you have version one, version two, version three, this would be a good place to keep those. Um, let's see, again, we'll, we'll just leave a default enter. That's gonna take about two minutes. You can see uh, some building stuff going on down here, in and out. I'm gonna pause and I'll come back when it's done. Uh, but it's basically gonna put it in, where's it gonna go, build export, upside down it's going to go into apks when it's done so it should just pop in there when we're finished uh, now we click finish it's ready to go all right building the workspace and almost there no errors no whammies less than 15 minutes and done and there it is popped right in all right now i can load that onto my phone um you can side load it onto your phone transfer it over and install it from you know your sd card or, or however you want but that is a done apk it will install with your game name and uh, you'll be good to go so i'm going to do that real quick i'll be right back okay i've transferred it over to my phone i verified it is working i can the touch controls work it loaded up the logo um let's see you got the tap to start uh, touch controls are working moving the, the ball around it's jumping fine and if i kill myself at the bottom in the game it's dead okay i get the reset button so I restart the game and uh, yeah it works perfect so this is awesome so now i don't have to pay somebody else to do this for me every time i want to do a test or, or make a change or see how See, that was a big thing, was how the controls feel. I wanted to know how the controls feel on a, on a mobile device, and I wanted to be able to put it on a tablet or my phone or whatever and say, okay, that's how that feels. That's good. I like that I like that feel. I want to be able to load it and, and see it on the phone, not just pointy-clicky with a mouse, and that doesn't really trans, transpire into finger finger touches. So um, this is awesome. I'll be able to do that now. I don't have to don't have to worry about sending it overseas, waiting the day to get it back, paying you know $25 to $50 every time I want to get that done. I do it myself now hopefully you get it working too if you do you know hit the thumbs up if you got questions post questions uh, in the in the youtube comments or or on the support thread and uh subscribe to the channel because i'm also going to do another video on how to get the settings put up 
for uh, in-app purchases and stuff like that within the Android developer console uh, at, the, at the Android site. So I'll do some kind of tutorials on that. And uh, yeah, so perfect. Thanks.